Good morning, food fans. Shane Draper here with Gorilla Grills. We're gonna take it up a couple notches. We're gonna do a spinach mushroom and goat cheese frittata. As long as you got some eggs, you got some cheese, and you got some other stuff you wanna put in there, you've got the stuff you need for a frittata. So we're gonna start with breaking down our eight ounces of baby spinach. I hit it with just a little bit of oil or butter to help it along. You're gonna take about three quarter cup of baby portobello mushrooms. You're just gonna throw those in the pan too. Okay, we got our mushrooms done. We got our spinach wilted. Now it's time to chop up the stuff you want in your frittata. You're gonna put about three quarters of whatever you chop up into the frittata itself. Now we're gonna chop up a little, about a half of a bell pepper. You just want a good dice on these. All right, so you're gonna use eight eggs for this frittata. To our eggs, we're gonna add a quarter cup of whole milk or heavy cream. Then to that mixture, you're gonna put about a tablespoon of the AP rub. Then we're just gonna take this, give it a nice whisk, get it well combined. We've already preheated the silver back to 375 degrees. It's gonna be a pretty quick cook. It's gonna take roughly about 45 minutes. We're gonna use our Lodge cast iron pan. I like to put a little olive oil in here, kind of mix it around, get it up on the sides. So we're gonna get our egg mixture poured in. Then we're gonna take all the ingredients and then you're just gonna evenly distribute those. Now here's where the magic happens. Goat cheese. Goat cheese gets a bad rap. A lot of people will say they like or don't like goat cheese, but they can't tell you why. And I like taking just like little, a little over pea-sized balls of it. I'll just make little balls and just kind of put pockets of goat cheese in this. Now I didn't give you a measurement of the goat cheese. Use enough, put it in there till you're happy, okay? Okay, so the surprise we're gonna add to our frittata today is bacon. And we're just gonna lay it right on that top rack and let it cook. Okay, so it's time to add our cheddar cheese to our frittata. And who doesn't like a little extra cheese? We're gonna give that about five to 10 more minutes and this thing will be ready to come off and cool down and eat. All right, so we got our frittata out of the silverback. It cooked up beautifully. I mean, we just couldn't ask for anything better. But how does it taste? Oh, you can see the spinach in it. Beautiful goat cheese. The cheddar cheese on top. I got a mushroom back here. Mmm, that is awesome. Now, Rob, the camera guy, is looking at me very longingly. I think Rob wants a taste. Yeah. For everybody that don't know, Starving. Rob's the guy who works so hard to make all this look good. I just cook the food. I don't know. Rob's the artist, man. You made all this, though. I just cook. I just cook. You, you, you're the guy that does all the camera stuff. But let's, let's see how you like this frittata and a little bit of that bacon. Now, Rob, you're a pretty healthy guy, right? You're, you're, you're a runner, so this, this may be a breakfast kind of up your alley. That, that is great. Yeah. What do you think about the goat cheese? I in really it? like the goat cheese. Yeah. I, I haven't had it before. Yeah. That that little tang offsets the earthiness of the mushroom and that spinach. Adds a little nice cream to it. Yeah, this is delicious. I'm gonna I'm gonna take this back up there. <laughs> back behind the camera. Shop. All right. <laughs> okay, guys. So as you've seen, the frittata is excellent. It's camera guy approved. So we want you to try it at home. But we want you to use this recipe, and we want to see what it looks like. So we want you to cook this, take a picture, and you're gonna tag us in it. You're gonna use the hashtag Silverback Breakfast. We wanna see it on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, you name it, we wanna see it. And we're gonna pick a winner three weeks from the day this is posted. The winner's gonna get one of the coveted Gorilla Tumblers. There's not too many of these out there. And we know this recipe is gonna make you a star in your backyard. I'm Shane Draper, this is Gorilla Grills. We'll see you next time.